Welcome to NFT Ghost where your NFTs stop haunting you. In today's video, I wanted to talk about this new topic that is coming up in the market after CC0 which is about royalties. There is a new debate going in the market whether creators should have royalties or not and there is a platform that is innovating some good stuff around this. But before we start the video, all I would say is if you're interested in content like NFTs, make sure you do subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell and like the video. Let's get started. So what is this creators royalties discussion about? Well, if you buy and sell an NFT on OpenSea, you have to pay certain fees, which includes OpenSea's own service charges. And then there is a creators royalties, which usually amounts to around 5, 7.5 or 10%, sometimes even 12.5%. However, now there is a new debate going on in the NFT market that whether we should or the investors should be paying that creator's royalty or not. Now, before we move more towards into it, why should we really care about this? Well, let's say you bought an NFT on OpenSea. So the NFT might cost you one ETH and now you are ready to sell that NFT again in the market. Out of that one ETH, 2.5% is going to get charged by OpenSea and then 7.5% let's say would be the creator's royalty. When you sell that NFT, the price that you're going to make is 1 ETH minus 0.25% minus 7.5% which would amount to 0.845 after deducting all the expenses or charges around it. But if the creator royalties goes down to zero, the same calculation would be a different one now. With royalties going to zero, you're making 0.94 ETH which returns to 0.1 ETH of profit which is around $200 now and as the ETH price goes up, it might increase more. And with the price going up more, let's say you bought an NFT for 1 ETH and today you're selling or let's say you bought an NFT for 3 ETH and today you're selling it for 10 ETH. The price percentage when it's without any royalties is 6.7 ETH and with royalties of 5% it's going to be 6.2 ETH. A difference of 0.5 ETH which can be a huge one and I'm just taking 5% of royalties which is on a very lower side here. Usually royalties are around 7.5 to 10%. Now with this coming up in the market, the investors are definitely going to have a lot of benefit around it. However, there will be a loss towards the creator side because I personally feel that NFTs came in and a lot of artists in the market who were struggling to make money got a platform and a technology which, which helped them actually make a lot of money. But along with that, people admiring their art. With this particular things coming up in the market, the creator's royalties is going to be zero. Hence, the creators will not be making any money off secondary. How does this all going to work out? Now, let's say if a project launches with a 10,000 collection and 0% royalty, what the project would be doing is they'd be keeping certain amount of NFTs for themselves. So let's say out of 10,000, they might be keeping 2,000 or 3,000 of NFTs for the creators because they're not taking any royalties anymore and the rest of the collections will be giving out to the public. Now, since you're not paying anything on the secondary market as the profit is higher, you would think this is a benefit. I personally don't think so much because now the creator has 3,000 or 2,000 of the NFTs with him. If the market price tends to do good, they might sell all of them at once, which will get the market price of that NFT go going down, crashing and making investors a lot of loss. Plus the second thing I feel on, uh, towards this approach is if let's say the creators have minted out, they've sold all their 2000 or 3000 NFTs that they hold in bulk. Now the creators do not have any motivation of moving towards that project or creating something in this project. They'll be moving towards the next project, try to create a new NFT, again sell it out quickly and make money out of it. This is not a very much motivational factor for it. I feel royalties are something that makes founders who believe in the project, who really want to work hard, make innovative things as they know the more hard work that they do towards their NFT project, the more secondary sales will be, the higher the floor price will be, the more the money they can be making. But I feel this would not be working out very, very great on the free mint. So you can imagine a project that is free to mint let's say have a 10,000 collection, 3,000 is held by the creator, they're not making any money upfront. Now, since the free mints usually get a lot of volume, they can sell them all at once and make money out of it, get out of the project, making the investors lose their money. If somebody bought it off secondary, they'll definitely be losing their money over it. However, this approach I feel would be really, really amazing if let's say a project mints out at 0.05 for 10,000 collections. Now they have got the money with them. They've made the upfront money out of the project 
second thing would be the collections that the creator is holding the amount that the creator is holding he needs to lock that amount for or lock that amount of nfts for at least three to six months or a year in which the creator says that he won't be selling any of his nfts until and unless this particular time period is crossed this way the creator will be having a lot of motivation to work on that particular project since he has made the money up front he'll be able he'll be having that capital on this business because mostly nfts are business if you are not making any money up front how will you run the business right you need money to run a business and with the free minutes next to impossible because there are no secondary royalties now there is no upfront money also how is it going to work out i don't think so it will and the project is going to be a rug but with the case of paid mint if the if the influencer or the creator are getting money up front now they can use that money to build the nfts and because their nfts are locked they cannot take that money out also they cannot sell that nft instantly this gives them the motivation to keep working also so that in future if the floor price increases a lot they'll be able to sell their nfts that they hold also in the market second the community will also be benefiting from it because if you know that the creators cannot sell their nfts for at least three to six months the risk uh, on the investor side decreases a lot i feel this approach could be taken from this side it might work out but it totally depends on how market revolves the way i've seen market is does not matter how many innovations are done on exchanges people usually go towards the open sea only there is a high volume on open sea people ignore looks rare people ignore x2 y2 also even though the fees is less there if you list your nfts on looks rare you certain nfts you might get looks token also but nobody usually cares about it because i feel as soon as a new or a beginner comes into nfts there are three things that they learn one is eth second is metamask and third is open sea and that's the reason a lot of volume is usually there on open sea and everybody wants to sell or buy through open sea but if this kind of thing can be implemented there will be a lot of experiments around it i think there will be a lot of risks also but as more experiments are done in the in, in the nfts in this market i feel that will be really really good the more experiments that, ha that happen in this particular market the better the future would be but that would be all for today's video. I this this is what I feel creator royalties being going to zero would do. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment box below. I would love to know your views. Also, make sure to do follow me on my Twitter account. A lot of NFT giveaways are going on there. And join my free Discord. Giveaways are going on also in there. Plus a lot of good alpha also. But I'll see you in my next one. Thank you.